Yo, 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 welcome to Team Rad Titan, and today we are going to be doing the 2018 awards. We do this every year, which basically the way it's going to work is we'll go through the categories and we will be awarding a bronze, silver, uh, and gold awards. So the top three, um, we'll try and do it in as many categories as we physically can. If there wasn't good enough pieces to make it to bronze or silver, there will only be a gold, um, but uh, we'll do the best that we can with it. So it's now you know, getting into sort of like the early days of January. So we want to get this out there and get this done because it's been a very busy year. There's been probably more statues released this year than any year before it. So there's a lot of stuff to go through. So buckle up. Let's get going. Yeah, I did try to do be a bit more creative and I tried to do it that there were going to be uh, like um, you know, comic related or some other related uh, theme to the to the awards, rather than gold, silver, bronze. It was going to try and be like adamantium and vibranium and something else. And then when I kind of got into that, um, you like look into the all, all the different stuff, and it's just all over the place. It's like that, that takes the geek level to fucking the stratosphere, man. That's that's just too much. I literally, that would be too geek. even for me, that's too much. If you if you Google, all right, just Google uh, like Marvel hardest materials or something like that, or whatever it was, and it will literally be like um, uh, Mjolnir is stronger than uh, the, you know adamantium, but Mjolnir is only stronger because it's not the material it's made from; it's because of the magic that encases it. And it's all just like. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> and you start reading through, and I was just like, "Fuck this shit! Gold, silver, bronze, all the way, man! It's that's universal." <laughs> second and third places. It's age, age old tested fucking remedy. Let's use that. All right. So this, I think, I think the first awards we did uh, was 2015 or 2016. I'm just looking into it. So uh, I think we've done three or four of these before. So we did. Uh, 16, uh, we've done 17, this is 18, I'm pretty sure we did a 15. Oh, here we go. So 15, 16, 17, so this is our fourth awards. Go. Fourth year. Some pedigree going on there. And, uh, Might need to make some effort next year and actually do <laughs> send something out. <laughs> yeah, send out a little fucking pin badge or something, you know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so, I mean, it's been, uh, what we do is, I mean, like, First of all, I mean, we'll just start off with a little, uh, you know, just want to thank everyone for 2018. It's been an uh, absolutely crazy year. Uh, Rad Tyron has, um, you know, we've pretty much doubled in the last year again, which is which was our goal. Uh, we've, Always. yeah, so we, we've uh, obviously seen a hell of a lot of pieces. Uh, we've been super, super spoiled. Uh, myself, personally, I've, I've traveled the world, uh, going to all the conventions everywhere, meeting uh, so many collectors, so many great people, a few dickheads as well, but, you know, that's another story. Um, and it's just been an absolutely amazing year. And again, I mean, you know, thanks to everyone for, for the support. Uh, thanks for everyone taking the time when I've gone somewhere to meet up with me. Uh, thanks for taking the time on PMs, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram. We just started doing a bit now. And, uh, you know, we, we, um, we wouldn't be able to do all this without you guys. So, yeah. Do you want to add a bit? Yeah, no, but uh, you know what? For one of the first times, there's not really much to add on to that. You know, that's uh, that's very well put. I totally agree with you. You know, it's mm -hmm. been, uh, you know you've been you've been carrying the shield this year. You've been out doing your bit. Um, I've uh, my son was born this year, so I've had a crazy year. So it's been a bit hectic and mental for me. But um, you know, it's, it's everybody that's been there from the beginning. You know, all the way. You know, there's people that have been with us from the absolute start. And we had like literally 10 subs and all the way up to nearly 10,000 subs now. So, you know, the, the aim is to continue growing and the aim is to, you know, try and, and always show as much as we can and be everywhere. I mean, we've got about 40 videos to edit at this at this moment at, in time. So I love the way you say, um, I love the way you say we, we have 40 videos. Well, it's, to... you, should be, you should be thankful that I'm saying we, because, you know, if I say we, it <laughs> shares the dream. <laughs> For why in 12 months you've had like loads of videos to edit and you haven't edited them not really a good excuse so i'm taking part of the blame so there's loads well, there's loads to come there's loads that we've seen 
that, you know, we need to put up. There's loads of videos. You know, we're going to try and keep the chats going every week. Um, you know, we're going to we're going to try and do like an odd UK based one. And we're definitely going to get some guests on as well coming up in 2019. We want to get some artists on and some company people again. We always trying to do that, trying to open up. And if there is any new channels out there, you know, we've seen the emergence of some really good channels this year in um, Gem Mint and... Uh, you know, Darth Castle, have, uh, you know, they've started as well and we love them guys. And they're all, you know, there's some really, there's some really genuinely good people out there. And we're always with, the, with those type of people, we're going to push, promote and share everything that they do because that's what we're about. Um, it's all about, you know, and when, um, when you see other channels who are about that as well, it's, uh, you know, iron sharpens iron, as you say. So, Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Hmm. Even it's a broken clock tells the right time twice a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, that's not really in the right context. But anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got to see Stephen in uh, New York and uh, awesome guy. Uh, we, we chat a lot. So I didn't really want to get into like naming people because there's always going to be Because of this year has been so yeah. insane, I didn't want to start naming. Otherwise, I'm going to be like, you know, thanks for these guys, that guy, and I'm always going to miss someone, which I don't want well, to. The, 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 that's the great thing about the community this is there is so many more great people than there are, you know, the ones who are out for themselves with the ego behind them. And and uh, and, and you, you can spot the bullshit from a mile away, you know. You know if you see someone in there that, you know, they do and they cover all bases and don't upset anybody, that's, that's, not, that's not really who you can, should be relying on. At the end of the day, you know, you can't you you got you can't make scramble eggs without cracking a few. So you know you got to, sometimes you can upset people. That's how it goes. You know, um, well, some people have had that chicken shit. <laughs> you got you got to just call it. You just got to call it how it is. You know, people don't like it. That's how that's how it goes. But you know, Rad Time will be continuing um, as we always are to be sh be basically saying exactly what we feel. We have the easiest. We have the easiest job in the world in that regard. All we do is we look at something and we say what we like about it. We say what we don't like. The rest yeah. of it is just background noise. So, uh, you know, you take that with a pinch of salt. And if you're the type of person that, you know, will follow that and, you know, as a result, end up buying something and you can trust in that, then that's great. Stamp of approval is always useful. So we'll be cracking on and we'll be going and seeing more collectors. I really want to get down to Jonathan Med Medins' house, Marvel Medins on YouTube. Check him out. Nice mm. guy. Warren um, Poetry. Yeah, there's so uh, many. People. David as well, talking to him today. He's actually got one of the winners. I'm not going to go into which piece yet, but he's got one of the winners. He posted it today, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, so we want to yeah, be doing that this year. We'll be trying to get to cons as well. We're trying to stay busy and stay active and uh, trying to push them numbers. I've got. To, I'm going to try and take over the Instagram stuff if I can. I'm going to have a chat with Alex and sort it out. Yeah. And, uh, we'll try and be doing a bit more of that as well and get some stuff out there because we've got so much stuff, so much. We've got so much. I mean, uh, you know, yeah, could always uh, do with an extra hand. I think. <laughs> be nice. Yeah, funny. I, I'm. I, I just can't believe how somebody does a channel on their own. I don't um, know. I don't know how Stephen does it, man. I don't know how he's putting out a video like all the, every fucking day. He's putting out a video. I don't know how he does it. Jesus. One is Todd. I got no idea because there's two of us, and we can't spread ourselves thin enough to do. We could do it. <laughs> maybe another one or two people, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. But again, I mean, Funny, uh, we, we have we have lots of those type of people, but they don't have any of the fucking skills we need. Most <laughs> <laughs> of people will be like, "Yeah, I'll do it," and they're trustworthy, and we go, "Yeah, all right," and then they'll be like, "Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I don't know how to." Do well, that. we had uh, we had someone edit uh, two videos of ours, and um, I, they they did a good they did an okay job, but then it's the problem of then when I watched it over, it was like I wouldn't do it like that, and it just bothered me a little bit. So. Uh, yeah, we'd, we'd stop sending them to them. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess I guess it's just, I've, I've, I've seen it on site before, you need to kind of have a way of detaching yourself from it and not kind of, it needs, you know, this is the way I do it. So, you know, but anyway, that's another story. Story for another day. Uh, and then also in 2018, I mean, I uh, I quit my job, which was a huge, huge thing. So that was why I was able to to travel around because I was a bum for, it, for the last uh, 10 months. So, um, yeah, I've been able to travel around because I've had loads of free time. So, yeah, that's been that's been very interesting and a, bit, a big eye-opener, I think. So, um, yeah, 2019, I definitely need to get a job, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Money running low. <laughs> In all honesty, um, it, it's kind of like 
because I've been buying and selling stuff and um, doing a little bits on the side, it, it's it's kind of just plateaued. It's just I'm kind of doing enough to kind of keep it, not spending it. So yeah, yeah, yeah it's you actually get, been, you, you get vision like that. That's the great thing about it. When the more so when you have funds regularly coming in, you waste much more than you realise. As yeah. soon as you start, as soon as a baseline starts, and you're like, right, okay, you, you sort of become much more self sufficient. There's no doubt about it. Mm. Much more. Anyway, again, let's, we we um, digress. Digress. Um, so basically, the, this year, as George is saying, so I just stuck a minute in my mouth. So um, this year has been absolutely crazy. I mean. The amount of pieces released this year have been absolutely insane. Must be. Um, must be. So I, I, I mean, like, I haven't watched any of the other awards yet that have been no. out this year. I, I, I won't until until we we put ours out, until we've fi filmed this, put it out, and then I'll start watching others because I don't want to be influenced by any of them at the moment. So I do think that, and I do hope that um, all of our you know, all of ours are different to everyone else's, and then you know, no one's no one's got the same ones because otherwise it'd be a fucking boring hobby if we would pick the same pieces. Um, so, uh, and then also, I do think as well that this year there's more chance of pieces just uh, kind of kind of uh, slipping under you know under the mat and kind of get a bit yeah. hidden away. Um, yeah. And it'll be like yeah. you know these pieces could have probably won last year, but they may not get mentioned just because of the sheer volume that. I've, has been released this year so I have to say, in my opinion i think this year has probably been the best in terms of quality there's ever been yeah i think this is the best i think this is this was the hard i always judge it on how hard the awards things are to organize to to like to discuss because me and you've been going back and forward on the award for about three months that's yeah. how you know it's bad because yeah. we've been like that and we pieces are flying here and there very difficult and there's been a lot and i mean you know Oh, the companies have really stepped up. A couple have slipped, you know, and then you know, fan art stuff is is has been great, and then there's been a few turds as well. So yeah, yeah. there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot, a lot of volume of stuff coming out. You know, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, yeah. so I mean, obviously, with um, I think two years ago we decided not to do it last year, but two years ago we did it where it was only pieces we had seen because yeah. two years ago. We pretty much seen everything that come out that year. Um, this year, <laughs> probably only awesome. seen the tip of the iceberg. I mean, I've been travelling all over the all over the place, and I still haven't yeah, seen. I mean, if you, I mean, you must you you've probably seen ten thousand pieces this year. Easy, <laughs> easy. <laughs> easy. easy. You must have. You've been to every little enough every con all over the world, and more importantly, any collection, all the people that all the stuff you get in, all the all the houses we've been. There's there's loads. I mean, you, if you go into, like, if you walked into one of the shops in Prague that we, just that odd shop, there's, like, they've got, like, 3,000 pieces in there. Easily. Well, yeah, they count all the hot toys. And exactly. Pieces, I mean, yeah. you, you can't just count the highlights of, like, the good stuff that actually takes your eye and go, you go, wow, that's not the only thing. I mean, when you walk through things, and there's, there's thousands of thousands. So, you, you know, you've been lucky. You know, I, I've seen loads of fucking people. I've seen loads, and I haven't been to half the places you have. I do think, I mean, we've, we've had this conversation before that <clears throat> when you see that many pieces and that volume of pieces, then again, pieces just get get hidden. Um, you know, they get kind of, if, if you go to a convention, for example, like Singapore, if you see 120 pieces at the convention, then, you know, the actual, like, you, you just remember the best of the worst. So, so the ones in the middle kind of blend into each other because yeah, they're so yeah. many. So it is very yeah. difficult in that way. Anyway, we 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 fucking quit the jibber jabber fool. <laughs> go. All right. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go on to the first award, which is for the smaller scale. This is for the pieces which are um, sort of one tenth scale. And uh, with these pieces, you know, there, there's been a, a, a huge increase in the quality that have been coming out of these pieces we've been seeing some fantastic pieces in this scale and uh, obviously they're a lot more displayable and uh, a lot more affordable for for people they're getting better every year every yeah, year they get yeah. better and better so uh what we'll do is we'll go straight in at uh, bronze and 
I nearly decided not to include any of this company in 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 the um, awards just for the sheer fact that I'm a bit dyslexic and uh, I can't pronounce any of the characters from uh, from the the pieces they make. So this is uh, Gandalf on his eagle, which is uh, I think it's like Guaya Guaya. So it's yeah, G yeah, yeah. G W A I H. Uh, I R. So it's, it's the eagle. Um, Dude, when, when, there's, when, there, when there's all them fucking vowels in there, you know you're having a bad day. <laughs> it's like it's like Welsh almost, isn't it? It looks like. Well, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's borderline around there, sort of like a, sort of almost Celtic as well. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, this piece is absolutely fantastic. It's a it's a small piece. Uh, it's 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 much smaller than you think when you look at the actual piece. And uh, you kind of, if you see images of it, the quality is so high that you could, you would have assumed it's part of their one six line. So uh, yeah, this piece, awesome, awesome piece, and I'm glad that Weta have kind of gone into this kind of stuff. They've had a really well. good year, man. They've had a very good year. We need to see a bit more of their stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. Review. Well, you have to review their stuff all the time, but uh, we don't see that much of it. Like collect, yeah. co or like our friends who collect and stuff like that. Not. A people have a lot of their stuff so i had a so i had i had a handful of them and also yeah, you i, mean, I uh, i did actually see the um, some of the lord of the rings over the over christmas i watched the two towers of return of the king so uh and i watched the first hobbit as well uh and surprisingly my girlfriend wanted to watch them and didn't complain one bit i just want to throw that in there george yeah, thanks for rubbing that in mate uh then we're going to go into the silver place so this is to kota Bakia, and this is the emperor Emperor Palpatine on oh, the throne. Yeah. Uh, really, really, really great piece. They did also the other Emperor uh, with his guards, but uh, I think this one just edges in there for, for us. Yeah, uh, a lot of details on this portrait. It's amazing. Really, really nice details for, for the scale. It is a line when you see pictures. You really yeah. do think it's bigger than it is because there's so much detail in there. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And I mean, a lot of people are wanting a true quarter scale one of these because a lot of people don't like the original one I, I didn't have a problem with it i've seen it several times and i like it but i'm not the huge diehard star wars fan so that's probably why I'm, i would accept yeah, it yeah. but then we go straight into the gold place so this is probably the company that is uh putting out a lot of pieces in this scale and i think this is where they are putting out their best pieces so this is by iron studios and this is the one tenth Wonder Woman on horse. Uh, really, really nice piece. Um, again, just so much detail. The way they get so much detail in into the small piece is, is absolutely fantastic. I mean, I, I think, yeah, great looking piece. And it's uh, yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely their that's definitely their strongest stuff at the moment, isn't it? That's where yeah. they're the most reliable. Because when you start going into quarter scale, it's very hit and miss. But at this, at one ten level, they they release a lot of real good stuff. It's big as well for a one tenth piece. It's actually really quite a big piece. Yeah. Uh, it's got a lot of presence for a small scale well, piece. One tenth scale horse is not going to be small, is it? Well, you got to remember as well. We saw the one tenth Thanos on throne, and uh, that was that was a pretty impressive piece for this for the size, yeah, yeah. Uh, for the scale. I mean, for the size for the scale. Uh, and yeah. I think it, actually, if you put like an image of that next to the hot toys, and you kind of made them the same size and said people choose one or the other. I think people would probably choose that the uh, Iron Studios one over the Hot Toys because the Hot Toys had a lot of issues. But anyway, yeah. story for another day. Um, we then we did look into doing another. So this is going on to the the next award. So we did look into doing like a uh, another kind of smaller scale award for the pieces in between. But the thing is that there's one of the things that's made it really really hard this year is there's so many. Um, uh, they, they kind of blend into each other the kind of genres so what you get is you'll get like uh, a one six scale piece but it'll be a diorama so uh, and you, it's really tough to kind of to, to, to fit them in and you yeah. also have... it is it is also really it is all, I think what you're trying to say with, without let's pull the nuts out of your mouth and we'll get back to what you were saying I think what you're saying is that there are the pieces out there that are massive but they're actually like one six, or they're actually like one fifth, or they're actually, yeah. like, you know yeah. what I mean, or they're actually like one eighth. But they're massive because the characters are like fucking massive. Yeah, and that's where it's all becoming difficult because you can't give, you know, you can't give one of these massive forty-inch statues a small statue award. It's very difficult to do that yeah. in terms of category-wise. So we've had to try 
to break them up into dios and some other things like that because they are very very good and they deserve a mention but if that you can't really put some of the the anime stuff as small scale it's very difficult to do that it's hard well it's also some of the other stuff as well certain companies will make pieces where the bases and the actual pieces are you know, it's, it's getting to a stage where is it a diorama? Is it a base? Is it you know? It's getting to a stage where yeah. it's getting really hard to differentiate between the two. Oh, 100%. Yeah, so, so, um, so we did then kind of go through it and look through the smaller scale pieces. And unfortunately, because of the way the better pieces were, they kind of got split into other categories. So we are going to move into the one six scale now. So yeah. uh, this is the one six scale statue award, and uh, yeah. this is. In third place here, I've seen this piece several times, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's really well done. So this is by Tweeterheads, and this is the Joker Marquette. Um, really, really nice yeah. piece. There's all clear resin going on. A lot of presents for the size. The actual uh, line is really good. The Harley's nice. The Bud and Lou are really nice. But of the three, I just I prefer the the joker overall and that got my vote I suppose as well very comic accurate it's, it ticks a lot of boxes lovely lovely piece um there's no doubt about it it's a real it's a real classy act and uh, in fairness as well this actually i think got the oh, oh on our group when we put out um ages ago about you know voting politics i think this got the overwhelming uh vote i think this was like basically this was easily number one um yeah, yeah. easily but um you know yeah for us it, it gets bronze Gets bronze for us. So the next piece, which is probably a piece again, which uh, I think would have slipped under the radar for a lot of people. Um, again, I've saw quite a lot of this company uh, in my travels um, around Asia. They're very big in Asia. Um, it's Infinity Studios. And this is uh, General Hung Zong. And yeah, yeah. Um, this is from Free Kingdom. So this is the guard and he's uh, riding a horse. Uh, Again, it's crazy the, 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 the detail on this. This is beautiful. I've never, I, it's, it's, I agree with you. You know, this is definitely something that would have crept out of the way and no one would have seen this because it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Of this is a shame. Yeah. Really, I, th I think it's, it's a hard one though with this sort of line. You either sort of, you either crazy about it or, you know, it's right or nobody sees it. It's a difficult one. Beautiful. I it, yeah, I think that's the case. I think with Infinity Studios, a lot of their stuff is going to get missing because a lot of it is to do with like uh, Chinese uh, history as well. So, yeah, um, like myth, isn't it? folklore sort of stuff that they do. Yeah, yeah. so they've got the, uh, the Three Kingdoms. I think they've got Destiny Warrior. Uh, they even do some pieces for King of the Fighters and stuff like that. But again, I mean, a super, super impressive piece. I've seen some of their core scout pieces as well. And um, they're definitely a company to look out for. Um, that um, I can't remember the name of it, but the Monkey God, that yeah, one um, nice. probably should have added that on to the um, most anticipated. But again, yeah. you know that one got kind of so missed many. out by us. So, so, so many though, isn't it? That's really difficult. And then the gold place then will go to again. This is another one which I'm <laughs> having issues with pronouncing here. So this is the uh, Thundrio. On the elk, so this is the yeah, this um, is the, um, the dude from the Hobbit in it. Start is yeah. the Hobbit. Um, you can basically, in the, I think, at the start of the Hobbit, he, he comes up on the elk, doesn't he? Like he's about to go and help them. Yeah. And when when the, when Schmel takes the castle, then he turns around and takes his army with him because he doesn't want to lose all his men. Yeah. Um, but beautiful, really elegant looking piece. Uh, you know, very proud. It's a beautiful, mm. beautiful piece. Really impressive. And again. When you talk about the scale, it's just full of detail that you just, it, it's mind blowing. Really well deserved, you know. Aware, I mean, they, of, like, aware of taking a, already making a. Yeah, big I mean, the thing, the thing about the, the, the actual 1 6 line is there were so many uh, Marvel pieces, so many DC pieces. And uh, when you when you put them all down, and even if you put them to vote, I mean, like something like uh, Copa Kia, uh, the Venom probably would have got a lot of votes. Uh, a lot of those other people, they were just getting through popularity of the character. Uh, from yeah. looking over these pieces, I think there were a few um, paint issues with the um, uh, the uh, sort of say Thandr Thandriel. Uh, I think there were a few paint issues with it, but overall, I think it came out fantastic. And I just think that you know you can't be as kind of narrow just to say Marvel. This is all Marvel DC. You know, you have to look outside the box, and these pieces. You know, right. so if, much if, more detailed if, than them. No. If the quality, if it's all about the quality, 
regardless of, I mean, I, whether you collect it or not is kind of irrelevant. It's, it really is, it's about, you know, can, can they compete? And, and they clearly can. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece that really, really impressive. Mm, very, very impressive. Very. All right. So what we do then is we'll move on to the, um, the one six scale figures. Um, this really is an all, our world. So what we did was we actually got in yeah, touch with we tried. Yeah, we got in touch yeah. with our um, our mods and a few people outside. And this was pretty much unanimous between all the people we asked. Um, the, the gold and silver was for sure. The bronze place was a bit, a few, few here, a few there. Yeah. Um, so what we do is we'll go on to the bronze place for 2018's figure of the year, which is the Gladiator Hulk. Hot so, toys. Hot toy, yep. So, um, again, I mean, Hot Toy is a company where the likeness on them, you just can't argue with it. I mean, they have got the best likeness out of any company in this hobby, really. I mean, their, their likenesses are insane. Uh, they get the character pretty much every time, and there's very few um, issues that you hear of. There are a few, but very few. Um, so, yeah, Gladiator Hop. And that's from, it's from Thor, isn't it, Ragnarok? Yeah, Thor Ragnarok, yeah. Shit film, but yeah. Um, I, I disagree. I like the film, so. <laughs> I right. It. There's, a lot, there's it, a lot of good parts in that. Well, we'll agree to disagree. Um, then the uh, the silver place here is the Hella from the same movie. So this is, uh, again, another Marvel piece. How can you, uh, not, how can you not like that part? How can what? you not like her coming out of the fucking ground and killing everybody? And, and the story behind that, about her being in prison, that's fucking brilliant. That's brilliant, that storytelling. I know it gets a bit cheesy in places, but it's... Uh, uh, and her breaking Munir, I mean, that's just crazy. That's I think they, that epic moment. I think the problem... Well, this is, again, the conversation for another day, but um, I think the issue was probably for me that uh, they just kind of, like, made Hulk really dumb. And then they just kind of made... It's really dumb. But they I made mean, him. But they made him like really dumb. But they made Thor just really, he's dumb. really, really he's immature. A moron. The Hulk's a moron. That's the whole point. No, but they did but the he had a genius banner, and you have a you have chimp like intelligence. Actually, not even chimp like intelligence. It's dumber than that. No, but then you have like Thor in the other movies where he's a bit more serious, and all of a sudden, oh, yeah, he's he's just, all of a sudden, he like loses, like there becomes really there immature. Humor. There are humor in all the Thor films. It's an underlying humor. It's a little bit more obvious, but yeah, I get what you're saying. It's because yeah. of the success of Guardians. They tried to sort of mimic of it. Yeah. And then what we do is go into the gold place. Uh, do you remember what the gold place is? Yes, Yondu. Again, it's another stunning work of Hot Toys, I believe. And it's another oh, beautiful be It's another beautiful piece. I mean, they, they just came this category. And, uh, you know, Mary Poppins, y'all. I love this fucking, I think it's great. So, you know, that was probably one, of, that was the only decent bit in Guardians of the Galaxy too, was that whole <laughs> part he does. So it looks, I mean, this looks great. Again, the likeness is off the fucking chain. Crazy, yeah. crazy good. Um, you know, yeah, they've, they've clean speak this one. So congratulations to them. Huge congratulations to Hot Toys there. So what we then do is move on to the next category, which is going to be the small scale busts. Um, again, I mean, this was this was a tough category as well to go through because obviously yeah. then you get the um, the prime one pieces that then have the the busts separate. Um, what we did was we we kind of disregarded those because it was a yeah. bit like they already they're like an accessory for the figure. Um, yeah. So we didn't want to include those as a small scale bust, even though you can buy them separately. But we we didn't think it was fair to put them in there. No, because they are actually just a part of the other part of the statue, aren't they? That's what they are. The busts are, you know, they are, whether you can buy them separately or not, that's just purely sort of money grabbing. It's it, They are basically that statue miniaturized at a certain part. So it's you can't, you can't, you can't take both categories. There are people yeah. that actually are doing smaller busts and they, they deserve to be mentioned because that's yeah. what they're, they're working on. I mean, in all honesty, I do have my, my guy for behind me and my guy for bust over there but you know they are displayed separately and they look fantastic separately but i just think that we needed to kind of look into it and just make a kind of uh, we needed to draw a line yeah we needed to draw uh, we needed. so what we do then is again these are the small small scale busts so most of these are like half scale 
So like, uh, this is uh, Zile the Resolve of Bone, a legendary yeah. scout bus by Sideshow. So this is part of their corporate dead deadline. Um, yeah. It's, uh, again, really, really great piece. Uh, the corner dead, I know that in the 2019-20, uh, they're going to be really, really pushing uh, the corner dead stuff. Um, they've set up. It was, a bit, it was a quieter year this year. It's quieter. A little bit. Uh, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes with Court of Dead, but uh, yeah, we will see a lot more. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you know, they're always <laughs> gathering steam and building. Was it, you know, I, I think the 2017 was a lot more focused on that on that sort of line. So maybe they, they, they digressed a little bit and then gone back to it or been working behind the scenes for it. But uh, yeah, this, uh, this bus is nice. It's a nice, it's a nice piece. I think they're building up uh, backgrounds and stuff for the characters. Yeah, it takes a while because it's their IP in it, so it, it takes a while. You shouldn't rush it, to be honest with you. You know, getting the that that was probably the issue at the start. They released a lot, and the background just wasn't really behind it. So now they focus on the background. And it, probably next year will be a better year. Hmm. Well, they were looking into doing the video game, but I don't know what happened with that. Exactly, that's my point. There was a lot of hands in pies, weren't there? But I don't know if really they should have taken a little bit more time to to build the world and then started to, you know, get the books out, get the comics out, get the games out, get get all that shit out and then start doing the statues and that's built a little yeah. bit of momentum. But well, you I know think, what? Yeah, I think it didn't make, they it didn't make. Pieces. We've, we've seen a lot of them. We've seen a lot of those pieces. In fact, yeah, I've, yeah. I've seen loads of those pieces. That beautiful statue, it's a yeah, great line. All right, and then we're going to go straight into the silver place. So the silver place of this is the Executus Reaper, Olgavel, Legendary Scout Bus by Sideshow Collectibles. So that's Silver Place, to, again, to another Court of the yeah. Dead piece. Um, that's a big fucking thing, isn't it? Really wide. It's, it's a big, big thing, this big old Laval thing. Yeah, it's big, it's, actually. It's, it's a big piece, and it actually has a detachable jaw, and yeah. it also has, uh, I think it has a faceplate as well, which goes over. So you can actually kind of display this in different ways. I also that's think they made, um, I think they made like a very limited black version to it as well. So I think, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll recall seeing that. Yeah, so there's that. And, uh, so again, we've already done all the spiel about Court of Dead, so we don't have to do that again. <laughs> and then in the first place, uh, we have the... Do you want to do this one or you? I can't pronounce it. You go. Really? <laughs> the first place is to Siren by uh, HMO. So that's the, uh, the piece which I thought looked a bit like Liv Tyler, but... Um, I was told I'm full of shit, and it doesn't look anything like her. So this is the. No, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like her, but it's the the. Uh, this just sort of made it out, didn't it? This just came out recently, didn't it? Uh, no, oh, it came out, no, it came out in the summer. A few people had was it? In the summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came out a little while ago. This, this is one that would have definitely slipped under the radar because I didn't see a lot of pictures of this. Um, but she's like sort of coming out of like there's like a bowl, isn't it? Like a basin that the waves and things are coming out of, and it's all yeah. like loads of lovely clear resin. <laughs> And it's got beautiful eyes. And it looks a little bit like I would have said the other thing. You know that that elvish um monster from sort of like uh World of Warcraft, the Blizzard game. You know that you know what I'm talking about? There's like an elvish woman with a bow and arrow. Blizzard released the statue of her, I remember it. Oh She's yeah, got a similar yeah. Similar type of face, but just a little bit obviously softer and more pretty, but with the she's got like white hair, isn't it? Um, I can't remember her name, but I I've seen I've seen it several times. You've probably got like Dave Wolf and some other people still, like shouting at the screen what the name is now. <laughs> um, she actually won um, last year. She did win an award. Yeah, but I she mean, the character itself is quite similar. It's just she's a bit more sort of evil elf looking than this one. This is yeah. meant to be like um, the, the the thing live in the water, didn't they? And lure sailors to their death. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd be well, well dead. Definitely, it would happen to me. That's for sure. Yeah, I'd be dead. <laughs> I'd be well dead. <laughs> the, the bad thing is on uh, on Witcher, they got sirens, and uh, basically the the sirens, like if you um, if you if you blow a horn, they fly as well in in, uh, in Witcher. And I killed one. And Coulson came in, and she said that it looked like it looked like her when it was dead. <laughs> She goes, that's really creepy because it's like a dead character that looks like me. I was like, yeah, it does actually look a bit like you. It's a bit weird. Anyway, <laughs> um, then what do we have next? So we have the large-scale bus next. So in this line, we are going for the more like life-size. Uh, well, not this one's not life-size. Otherwise, it would be huge. 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 
Uh, so this is the bronze place for the large scale busts. So this is the Fell Beast bust by Weta again. Uh, this oh, is the bronze place. Dragon. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's basically one of the um, uh, the, the riders, the isn't it? The King riders. Riders. Yeah. Turn of the King Dragon. Right? You know, they're flying around. They've got an upside down head. Mm. Well, it's one of the ones that she, she cuts her head off at the end, doesn't she? The wetter one, you can also manipulate, can't you, their busts? Isn't that right? Where you can sort of turn it. So you can um, display it in multiple ways. Or did they I, just do that with one of them? Well, I know the smog, you can you can put it on the plate and display it, or you can yeah. have it on the wall. Um, yeah, but it turns, doesn't it, on the plate? No. So either, it can, yeah, it does. One of them does, where you could sort of, like, you can hang it, or you can display it that way. So you can display it Yeah, down, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, yeah. then it's breaking out this way. We can turn the head and then put it put it up right, and mount it. It might be the same, but I know that's definitely the smog. Yeah, that's wicked. That is that's a really good idea. Yeah. So then we go to the uh, the silver place. So we've got one here for Brendan Guerrera. So this is the Velociraptor bust by Chronicle Collectibles. I saw this a couple of times in New York, and it is massive. I don't even know how how Brendan would have set this up and got this out of the box because it's bigger than him. So it's <laughs> massive, absolutely massive piece. Really, really impressive. Um, painted really, really well. Some of the uh, other pieces have been a bit, some of the factory paints haven't been too great, but this one is absolutely fantastic. Looks looks amazing. Really, really impressive. And obviously, uh, Brendan's all over this, loves this, is posting all the time. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen him posting pictures of it, and it just looks, it just looks huge. Yeah. It does, and, and it looks looks quite detailed. Like I would love to see it. it looks amazing. It must weigh like a hundred pounds. It must be. Well, it's <laughs> massive. It's really big, and, and Brendan weighs about ninety pounds. So I don't know how he got it out of the box. <laughs> uh, and then in gold place, do you want to go gold or? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> just say, just say, I don't remember. Don't say. Don't I can't that, pronounce it. Think, then, then, well, nice. I, do you know what's funny? Because I thought the. Um, I thought the um, the fell beast one was in the other category, but obviously because of the scales. I thought the fell because the, obviously it would come under small bust because of its scale. Because that dragon's not life size, is it? It's going to be like one tenth scale. No, so it's, it's, again, it's debatable. Huh? It's big. It's a big bust. That's what I'm saying. But what, what scale is that? That head? I'd, it'd be. It would be small. Yeah. So again, yeah. it's that same debate. It's the same debate. With what category it sort of comes into? Yeah, more like that. Yeah. I want to remember which one is. Chronicles one. Is that, your way, is, that your, is that your way of stalling? <laughs> I, I, I do not remember what it is. There's so many categories. All right. So in first place, in gold place, is the uh, Jason by oh, yeah, uh, the Chronicle the Collectibles. Oh, sorry, not Chronicle. Uh, Elite Creature Collectibles. Elite mm. Creature Collectibles had an absolutely sort of fantastic year with, with busts. So they have the... Um, the Zoidoid guy of a bust, which is the purple one, which which looks phenomenal. They also had the um, uh, the dead, uh, the zombie. It, it looks like that guy during the tattooed model. It looks like the tattooed model where he's got the tattoos like skeleton on his face. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks like him. It's called. Uh, uh, da, 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 let me go down to my bottom my list down here. I think I've, I've got it on here. But it's uh, it's it's a really really nice looking bust, and it comes with like a samurai sword and stuff. I think like other yeah, hands. Yeah, I've seen it before, but that's not from uh, anything, is it? That's their own thing. No, it's called Brain Dead by Akioto. So it's basically it's like yeah. it's like almost brownie sort of color, isn't it? It's like I a think brownie it, bronze color. No, no, no. It's like a like a like a white uh, like a really pale white skin with tattoos all over it. But and it's got like a brain. It's got like the thing there in the brain. But basically, what happened was, is I believe in um, 2016, I want to say, at Monster Palooza, there was someone who was doing the prosthetic makeup, and they did this makeup on someone. And then the next thing you knew was uh, Liquid Collectibles were making it into a bust. But yeah, super impressive piece as well. But yeah, they've had a very good year and. Um, we were we was going to say Freddy, but then we realised that Freddy won last year. So, yeah. But then again, they they you know I think the I think I, I like this Jason one. The Jason one is nice. Freddy was better, but the, yeah. the Jason one's nice. I'm not well, sure about the old arm coming out of the base and shit though. Like, but then again, I guess it does match the Freddy has his 
hand, didn't he, coming out as well. So yeah. get well, like, like a mirrored, a mirrored sort of um, thing. So if you had them both, you'd be laughing. Well, either way, with it as well, you could take off the mask. So you just have those other display options, you know. Yeah, the uh, mask is pepper, isn't it? it just goes over the top of it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be a bit nervous, isn't it? Taking that on and off. Yeah, I've actually got a, I've actually got a Jason mask over there. <laughs> um, so then the next category we have is the uh, diorama category. This one again was pretty typical because of the fact that there's so many pieces which are, especially the anime lines. There's so many pieces out there which is borderline. If is it going to be a diorama? Is it not? Even some of the pieces yeah. that want the um, kind of one six scale, it's a bit like, well, it's a person on a horse. Is that a diorama? You know, it's it gets it's tough. It's really tough to, it's up, to yeah. It's up to interpretation, isn't it? And more importantly, as well, there's there's a few things that are clearly dios, but they're crap, or at least we don't think they're very good. So therefore, they can't just get in because they are labelled a diorama. It doesn't yeah. work that way. So that yeah. is also very really difficult because. You know, there was a couple of pieces that were snuck in it this year, and uh, they're not really up. They're not. We don't consider them up to par. Well, we just yeah we wanted to be a bit stricter with certain things and just say that pe things can't win just because the category has been set up for them. Uh, yeah. So that that's yeah. the kind of case really. So with the uh, dioramas, what we're going to do is this is a piece that George actually would have seen in 2017 at the um, uh, Singapore Toy Game Comic Con. So this is Gara by Rio Studios. Uh, there was a great review done by um, our friend, our mate Ryan, a sinister collector. Uh, yeah. His daughter, yeah, it was daughter, fucking, yeah. fucking hilarious. Every time she goes to touch it, you hear how angry he gets. <laughs> his, voice, his voice goes up, doesn't it? It goes up a couple of notes. <laughs> goes up a fucking octave, I tell you, man. And, uh, every time yeah. she touches the piece, he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> hilarious but that gar as well effectively that gar is, is absolutely massive got like them two massive like sort of uh big fucking claws top and bottom of it but what is Brown she, claws, massive uh, thing, that they, they control uh, alarmingly massive they, they have like a sad backpack with sand in it that controls the sand into kind of whatever they want to do so yeah that's uh by rio studios again rio studios are we met them in 2017. Uh, they looked like the the owner of it looked like he was about 14. Looked like a yeah, little kid. Yeah, didn't he? <laughs> we're all like really young. Yeah, but really, really great guys. Really nice guys. Um, then we got the uh, silver place here, which is oh my god, why why does it have to be all these things? Yeah, it's that pop uh, uh, pop pop gas D Ace. Pop gas, yeah. And this yeah. is by Somme. So this is from uh, One Piece. And the thing is, is like One Piece. I know uh, our mod uh, Chad is a massive fan and he always comes across and tells us all these pieces. And some of the, the characters from One Piece, I'm so glad I never watched it because they look absolutely crazy. They look they look like, like Stop really... We yeah. Stop when we were younger, we would love that. I mean, this one's Fantastic. got that massive, crazy light up. Um, you know, just mad, it's holding like a big... Almost like a volcano fucking thing above his head. Yeah, it's like a yeah. mental. And also, I mean, the thing about it again is, I mean, you see these kind of on display. You you re you read what the actual scale is, and you're like, yeah, they're going to be that big. When you actually get it in, you realise that like they they are massive. They're like one eighth, one sixth, and they they yeah. they don't even fit into most cabinets. Yeah, they're massive. Yeah, they're, they're, they're easy sort of going into huge one quarter or even one you know one. Uh, one third scale sort of sizes, some of these things spaces, are yeah, yeah. They're monstrous in, in terms of how much space they require, but mm. really intricate and, and yeah. crazy dynamic. So, I actually, you know, I actually think that uh, that so may probably make the best kind of parts out of clear resin out of any, any company. Uh, so many clear resin pieces look fantastic, and I just don't think I'm I, a I, I really like, uh, yeah, they, they make some mate, they make some amazing stuff. Ryu mm. stuff is very nice as well, though. Ryu Studio stuff is is right up there. I mean, yeah. that other one that we saw with the Three Brothers with uh, doing all the uh, and sort of that was fucking lovely as yeah, well. That that's was, that's, that's the Naruto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so that's the silver place, and then we're going into the gold diorama, which 
Yeah, this one for me was a no-brainer. This one for me was a piece I got in, and um, it's one of those it's pieces which we've seen for a long time. That yeah, style yeah, yeah. Really so, lovely piece. So this is the figure armor Amon versus Devil Man. Uh, I'm looking at it now; it's, it's over there, and it is absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely love the piece. Um, it's one of those pieces where it was a character on my list of things that needed to be made, and it got made. And, uh, yeah, and it's sculpted I, by uh, Caleb Nefran, uh, Nefson, yeah. or Nefran. I call him Nefran, but Nefson. They, and, uh, he's he's a very very talented man. So that 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 came out fantastic. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, it's beautifully painted. Uh, the sculpt is crazy. Yeah. And we were really impressed with, actually, more importantly than anything else with the figure armor was um, there's it's a lot of delicate spikes and wings and, and uh, very yeah. thin parts and translucent parts and nubs here and spikes there and round pegs and square pegs. And it was very complicated. But basically, you took it out of the box and everything was mint. And you just think, thought yeah. to yourself, it, you know, there are probably one of two companies in the world that could ship that in mint condition. You know what I mean? Uh, other than that, that's that's that would have arrived in pieces. I would have been terrified, and, it, and, and, yeah. and not many people had any issues. So that yeah. was that was. Probably. I haven't seen any issues with it. That's what. Yeah, I'm but also the box is probably the biggest box I've ever seen in my life. I could probably live in the box. Uh, it's, yeah. it's it's huge. I, with, I, I with that, I got, place, you should live in the box. <laughs> <laughs> I moved in the other day. The box and uh, it's like a meter. One of the sides is like a meter long. It's a huge box, but. Again, and also the uh, the the packaging inside is super super thick as well. The the, uh, the box they use, but yeah, figure armor for me, um, uh, Devil Man versus Amon is all the way. That that piece, I love it, and uh, that piece is never yeah, ever going anywhere. Huge congrats, anyway. huge congrats um, and they deserve that. Very very well done. A great definitely piece, definitely a company to look out for uh, next year. I think they did win last year, which was the kind of uh, the, the new company to look out for last year. And uh, I definitely I love recommend. it when we're right. Yeah, yeah. Not, I love it when we're right. <laughs> what we they tell got, people, get your eye out. They got, they, really pieces, yeah. they got a lot of pieces coming. So literally, if you if you keep an eye out, um, they're going to be at uh, Winterfest in February. And they're going to have a lot of pieces to show there. Uh, they're going to have like Hunter, Hunter. Uh, they're going to have uh, Attack on Titan. Uh, they're going to have like loads of pieces like that. They've got the Hellsing. They've got... Um, Alucard. Uh, Vash. Uh, yeah, Alucard for, uh, from Helsing. Uh, Vash, the Stampede. Uh, they got so many pieces coming that people are going to... Oh, and also the Tokyo Ghoul, uh, Jason versus Kaniki. So, yeah, loads of things to look out for. So, yeah, congratulations there. So we'll move on. Uh, this is the one-fifth scale statue um, awards. I just want to throw in that uh, this one didn't make it, but actually, well, I'll, I'll do that at the end. Otherwise, it could be a spoiler, couldn't it? Uh, yeah. so the one fifth scale the the piece that um kind of snuck in there was the uh, bronze place so that's orco and uh it's by tweet ahead sideshow uh collaboration uh i saw this in new york in 2017 and it was probably one of my favorite pieces there that i saw um at the sideshow booth i absolutely loved it and it really really surprised me um yeah. I'm so glad that they're continuing the line. And, uh, yeah, I really, really, really like the look of it. i got a, a friend who's collecting, so Bart, he needs to get his arse in gear and he needs to pick up this piece. Really does. So, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. surprised he hasn't got this, actually. This is the line that he's collecting, so he needs to pick this up, definitely. He says he doesn't have space, but I said to him, look, dude. He just bought up. a fucking massive Hulk. He has space. Just keep <laughs> doing it. I know the Hulk is bigger than his kid. But yeah, yeah it's crap. I really don't like that whole call. He sent me pictures. I was like, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, but his pictures are worse than mine. So yeah. Yeah, they're pretty bad photos in fairness. The flash was bad, man. It looked I, like a, a bad, bad, uh, you know, a bad, a really like overly masculine transvestite makeup job. It weren't good. <laughs> I think that Hulk is one of the, no, we're changing the subject, but I do think that Hulk is one of those pieces you need to see in person. Because it is, he keeps telling me. I, that. I really, no, I really do think it is one of those pieces. I do think that it's a piece that slipped under the radar. It's got very small edition size, sculpted by Martin Canal, and I just think that it's one of those pieces. When you see it in person, you'll be like, actually, the reference. Okay. Though I don't, I don't, I don't like the reference. I don't the like. Pose, the, I don't, I'm not honest, my least favorite Hulk is Russo. Uh, is uh, what's his name? Uh, Ruffalo Hulk. I don't like Ruffalo, it. Yeah. All yeah, right, I don't anyway. like Ruffalo. 
Next piece in the one fifth scale. Do you remember what's what's in this this one? Well, I argued this because I hope that you've listened to what I told you. But I reckon that because you're in control of the list, you've you, you've left. No, I, I I did listen to you, but I don't agree with you. <laughs> did, I'm sorry, sorry, did, you change it? did you change it or not? I changed it, but I don't agree with you. Okay, go on. So what, this is your this was your pick for number one then. Yeah. Oh, okay, I can't remember what you picked because your picks oh, for crap. Fuck's sake. That's why I said to you, yeah. Yeah, right? Silver Blaze is the uh, Batman nightmare. So yeah, um, that, that looks nice, but I yeah, I like the first place more. I think the first place more. That's got like, everyone's gone mad for that. Again, Easy. I mean, I saw uh, I saw this one again in uh, 2017. The Have you seen the pro Have you seen production though? No. Have you seen no. the production? No. See, I saw the photos of the production. It looks okay. But the yeah. prototype looked like a lot better in terms of paint. The There's boats, a lot of complicated paint on that on that the, prototype. In two thousand again in New York, the two pieces at the sideshow booth that really, really surprised me was the Yorko and the Batman. Batman Nightmare. Yeah, I they're, they're it. great, and, I, I, just, uh, it detail, I love it. I love, I love the, the Batman Nightmare. And I think it was Alfie who actually took a picture of the Batman Nightmare with the uh, Devil Man versus Amon. It looks really good together. It's really yeah. good. They're the same they would, they? They're like winged demon sort of looks. So yeah, sort of similar sort of thing. Yeah, look fantastic together. So Batman Nightmare has got the silver place and then gold place. Go, George. Well, well, I this is I thought that uh, Mumra deserved the first spot. I mean, I've seen. I think that is a lot closer to uh, prototype for me. I've looking at what I've seen in the reviews. Um, I think that the, the, the bat got a little bit muted in, in terms of detailing and separation from the base. The Mumra, I just think, looks amazing. Absolutely stunning, stunning piece at one-fifth scale. Um, I think it's one of, you know, that and I think Skeletor won last year, the one-fifth, if I remember. And I think that, you know, them two together paired is an, an amazing, amazing setup. The Skeletor now, it definitely was up there. I'm sure Skeletor won, maybe always, or maybe second, I'm not sure. But yeah. Really happy with the Mumra. I think it looks amazing. Paint looks incredible. Sculpt is insane. Uh, lo loads of Easter egg nods. So this is a, bit, a little bit more, for me, there's a bit more detail in that Mumra. So I, I'm, I've lent that way. Yeah. All right. So I'm just trying to see who did win last year. So let's just see if I've got it. Quite impressed it. that you came um, that, actually. I said that. that. You, a lot of the things you've been like, nope, I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I've got to let you give you... Uh, Give you some. Give me the scraps, didn't it? Give me the yeah. one fifth scale. I'm just give me the fucking scraps. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it could go either way. But the thing is, is I, I, I prefer the Batman Nightmare personally. But you know, I, I do like the the Mobra. If you would have told me put Lino in there, I mean, he's not in hand yet. But if Lino was delivered, and you told me put Lino in, I would have probably blocked you on Facebook. But anyway, that's. Yeah, but that, that's deserved, I think that's deserved. I mean, Mumra. I think I think Mumra was a little bit better delivered. Yeah. You know, I, I think to be honest with you, Saito's has a really, really good year. And in terms of like pr prototype versus production, it's closer than it's ever been. But there are still, you know, like pieces that, that, that come at a little bit too far away. I don't think that Man Bat was. It's I not Man Bat. It's not Man Where is it? Not Man, Man Bat, Man. Where is it? That's the same thing, isn't it? Any like a bat that looks like a man it, or some shit? No, it, it looks like it. I, I can see it does look like Man Bat, but it's not. It's, it's not just like, Nightmare Batman, but I just think that the the pro the prototype on that had some real crazy paint, and I don't think they managed to capture it quite as what production level with Mumra. I think it was an easier transition. Mm. I think you got closer, so you know, yeah, that's why that gets it. Both okay. side shows, so there's no there's no fucking losing if <laughs> they get first and second. <laughs> well, they got no second and third, did they? I mean, the uh, the Yorko is a, a collaboration with Tweetheads, sort of, sort of, but don't take it away from Tweetheads. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, well, it's still a collaboration. But uh, so then what we do is um, we can't do the awards without acknowledging the kind of fan art side. Uh, there are a ridiculous, I mean, there's been some drama this year with uh, posting fan art and, uh, you know, kind of restrictions in place of how the, you can um, uh, post about it without getting people in trouble. Uh, there's been an interesting year, especially when Sideshow decided to wait until uh, the day I was flying. Uh, I think they sent uh, out the email while I was actually on the plane for 12 hours. So when I got off the plane, I then come, come to this fucking drama. Uh, 
so basically, you know, there's been uh, uh, a bigger move for fan art to go back underground. Uh, but we still have to acknowledge that they, there are some fantastic fan art pieces out there. And uh, the people who do the fan art, uh, no matter what you believe, whether it's right or wrong, um, you know, they do push the companies to make better pieces. Um, yeah. So, you know, we, we will acknowledge um, some, some fan art pieces. So here's the top three fan art pieces, uh, gold, yeah. silver, bronze. So in um, in bronze place, we, we can't say you made them, though. <laughs> in uh, bronze place. Uh, well, they don't want to be told either. Let's have it right. The people that make them don't want their names mentioned anyway. So it's like... <laughs> It's not exactly yeah. like you know. You know, it's not, they don't want to be meant. They don't want to be known. They, you know, what I mean, they don't want the highlight. So, well, I've been yeah. removed. I've been, I've been removed from nearly every fan art group after this happened. Anyway, so it don't really matter. <laughs> I've been removed from. Uh, yeah, I've been removed from all. all this top three, I've been yeah, removed at from least, all. At groups. least you were in there to start with. I, I, I don't really. No yeah. one can take my brutalness, man. They don't want me in there because you show me a picture. Be yeah. like, yeah, that's shit. <laughs> I was removed from all three of these. I just want to throw that in there. So I don't take it personally, obviously. Otherwise, I would have chosen three who haven't removed me. But um, oh, so you what, mean you'd cover all your bases like other people do? Yeah, yeah, I need to. I need yeah. to pick all my friends and make sure my friends win. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, yeah, all three of these people have removed me from their, their custom group, and I still pick them. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a fucking idiot for doing that. But uh, so yeah, in in uh, third place we have the Doom on Throne. Uh, fan art piece. I got to see this one again in, uh, in in New York Comic Con. It was actually on display there, and it was someone was selling it. Uh, this is we can say. I mean, I don't know who sculpted the others, but uh, this is sculpted I, by Caleb. Yeah, Caleb sculpted this one, and uh, <laughs> it's very very detailed. Uh, they they did a very good job. Uh, big, yeah. big piece. I mean, Doom is supposed to be like six eight. Six, eight. Yeah, in, six, in his eight. armor. So. You know, it is a big piece, and uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. So you said you, know, you you said to me you've seen you said it was slightly overscaled in your opinion. That was what you told me. Don't, it was, um, the, was too big. The thing is, is uh, it was next to a couple of prime one pieces, and uh, it, was it wasn't quite one third, but it went far off. It was it's big. like we talked about with the Thanos on throne as well. You know, he he is like I've had this discussion. I was talking to Mike Wells about it. When I was talking about that doom, and I said that Alex is like, you know, really nice, but um, it's slightly overscaled because Jonathan Meddins has get it, has got it, so Mike's yeah, going to yeah. see it on Saturday. So he said to me, "Let me know what he thinks." But I, um, it's the same with the Thanos. The Thanos is if he stood up, he's thirty inches, easy, the figure. <sighs> There's certain that's characters big, that's a big, it's a big guy. <laughs> when it's not like a human character, you kind of get away with it a lot more. So if, when you Maybe have like Thanos, I've, I've, I've read Thanos, and Thanos is just a shade under under seven foot, seven yeah. foot or under. Always, he's not. Any you can still, than that, you could still get away with making Thanos huge. Uh, you can Maybe. get away like with the fucking Hulk. You can make him as big as you want. Um, the thing, uh, you know, uh, Juggernaut is like nine foot tall. You know, you got all these characters where you can venom. They all grow when they when they transform. So yeah. there's a lot of them, like where their 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 size is all over the place anyway in comics. So yeah, yeah, yeah. there are ones you can get away with, but there are ones when they're in like human form that it is clearly overscaled. Well, he is but, a human. That's the point in the in it. Though, so. He's in the armor, but anyway. So uh, then we move on to the silver place. Uh, this is a piece which I really really like uh this is sculpted by franco carlissimo and uh this is the silver surfer so this is silver surfer coming it's out it's just made oh. it just made it. it's only starting to come out the last month or so i think yeah and it looks fucking amazing got like a chrome and a silver and a painted version yeah uh, coming out of like a black hole it's almost a meter wide um yeah. but i really <laughs> believe that this is the most accurate um silver surfer there is in terms of like the physique, pose, just the whole style of it—it it, it is spotless. It, I mean, this this is really. I mean, this could have got easily got gold. It's that good. It could have. It could have got gold. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Absolutely love that piece. And I also think that with that piece, I mean, they gave you the option to have chrome or painted. And I think it was an edition size of thirty, and I'm pretty sure like two or three got the painted version. And I was a bit like. 
Hmm. Okay. I, I would have gone painted all the way. I don't like silver yeah. silver chrome, but anyway, well, it's not, it's not it's not Mirror Man, is it? That's what I mean. I I don't th personally you can't convey chrome on paper, so he doesn't look chrome in comics. So it's it's one of the things. It's the most least accurate color that he looks. So you know, they just I think people think that if it was if it was real, that that's what he'd look like, but. You know, he ain't chrome surfer, he's silver surfer, and silver isn't chrome. So for me, I I don't I I'm with you. I I don't like the mirror look at all. I think it's very much not accurate. So Yeah. And then obviously the first place um goes to Loki on Throne. Um that's just come out now recently. It's in people's hands and they absolutely love it. Um it is a absolutely uh, is a it's a breathtaking piece of art, but the, what what I really what I think really sets it apart for me and why I think it deserves to have gold. I mean, you can all talk about some scaling issues in in regards to the throne, as in the characters that he's sitting on, because they're you know, but you can't really do I don't know ten or twelve characters in quarter scale all in a throne, um, you know, without sort of bringing them slightly down a, a touch in terms of scaling. Um, I don't think you can do that very well. I mean, this thing pretty much I've been told weighs about 30, 40 kilos already as it is. So really getting it any bigger would have been suicide. Um, I think what's amazing is just how well packaged and how well presented it was. It was absolutely stunning how it was boxed, how it was presented. It was very premium, very top, top class. Um, I love the, you know, the switch out options, the dagger, the, 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 the dragon, uh, the translucent like spell, like dragon around his arm. Um, if critiques would probably be maybe, you know, we could talk about the fact that the, I would say that maybe the um, the, the portraits, I, I would say the smirking one certainly lacks a little bit in terms of maybe how it was painted, I would probably say more than anything else. But, you know, the whole thing, you know, his texture and stuff like that is really nice. It really is. It's, it's a beautiful piece uh, with the event, the Fallen Avengers used as a throne. It's very concept and design. It's very complicated. It's very, uh, very well put together so you know i think that uh i think that really stole it you know it, yeah very nice piece very very nice Absolutely. i mean hopefully we're going to get to see it when uh we go to to wallace because uh he's got one so yeah, yeah i mean yeah i mean yeah, I, I don't think he's getting rid of it anytime soon but definitely no, no so. i don't think he's either it's, uh, we'll, we'll go and we'll, do, we'll definitely go and have a see what it's like in person but For sure really really impressive so yeah yeah good job so that's the gold silver bronze right there uh, what we then have is uh, we do have – hold up. Let me go here. So, yeah, so we have the um, one quarter scale female pieces here. So uh, what we have is – um, also run. This is for me. I think I think the, 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 the bronze and the silver um, are, are good pieces, but I've, I felt the gold was just so far uh, ahead for me. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. So with this one, this was actually a big surprise. I ordered this one in because I had the Heat Seeker Deadpool. I then looked into the female piece to uh, accompany him. Uh, she came in and I was just like, yeah, she is much better than him. I think that if I was actually told you need to get rid, rid of um, the male or the female one, I would actually get rid of the male one because I think the female one is so much better. I think she's I, really, I, I, really, really, really good. Really so, I, I mean, I really like the explosion on the, the Heat Seeker Deadpool person. It's my favourite part of the whole piece. But, yeah, I've, I, I really like the, the, the Lady Deadpool. I think that was a really excellent job. Two beautiful portraits. Uh, the exclusive is stunning. Yeah. It's very dynamic, really well put. There's very few weaknesses on that piece, if any. It's a solid 9 out of 10 piece. If, I, I, mean, the, I, the... I, I, I don't know if I could even say if there was a weakness on it. I don't know what it would be. So maybe it's a 10. Yeah, you know, those are, it's, 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 it's got to be a ten. Yeah, no, she's she's a great piece. The the uh, unmasked portrait for me, it was like I'm never ever going to display the unmasked portrait. I'm going to always have it with the mask on, blah de blah de blah. And then uh, yeah, it came in. I got it out, and I was just like, wow, that that looks absolutely phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal, and I love it. So that's the. Silver place, so uh, sorry, that's the bronze place. So the silver place is then the XM Studios Poison Ivy. So uh, yeah. even really though, nice yeah, even though we had a fucking nightmare to to assemble this one, uh, once it was together, 
it was a really really nice piece really phenomenal piece and xm did a, did a great job with that so uh yeah. we got that and then the gold place do you want to go into that yeah well the gold place is from hmo it's morrigan and uh, to be honest with you it's an open and shut case really everybody else you know you were everyone was up against you know the same bolt there was no you know it, it was just who was going to get the awards after them you know no one that was challenging that goal really feel that that was a really nice piece actually there you could probably say you know a couple of fitting issues uh, like just a couple of like loose bits here or there the bats is a fucking nightmare to put together and the uh, although my wife didn't find that we went out we got so stressed we went for a walk took the dog out for a walk and needed a break and literally got a text five minutes later from a missive going yeah i'll put it together it's done and uh I said to her when I got in, was it a nightmare? And she went, no, not really. You two are just fucking idiots. So, um, yeah, you know, well, maybe I, there was no issue. So, but I really think in terms of concept, sculpt, you know, their eyes on her hair, paint, it's it's all really, really high, high end. Uh, yeah. That piece is one of the best pieces really that's come out this year. And if we didn't separate the female and male categories in terms of quarter scale, she would be in the top three spots, I think, somewhere, regardless. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Very nice piece. Very nice job from um, HMO. Uh, Mufuzal Mokta, so well done. Congratulations. Beautiful job. Well deserved. No doubt. Definitely. Yeah. All right, so we're back. And what we'll do next is this is the one quarter scale uh, male statue. 100 meter sprint. This, uh, again, this was very, very difficult. The problem with this one, again, um, was some of the pieces involved again is kind of borderline whether it's a statue whether it's a diorama and uh, there was a lot of kind of back and forward uh, between us about whether it some should be included or not in this category uh, so yeah it was very difficult so with this one the bah, 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 the bronze place for us is going to go to the XM Studios Hulkbuster yeah uh, reasons for this are that only a small batch have been delivered and uh this with from a small batch has been quite a lot of fitting issues um yeah. but with the piece you cannot deny that it's absolutely a phenomenal piece it looks absolutely amazing uh there was a debate whether this should be a diorama or it should be a statue uh, this is where it gets really really difficult because it's it's a bit like it, you know, it's, it's a one quarter scale statue, but it's such a huge, massive piece. But then it's also two statues in one, and it's also yeah, but so the, it does the, get the, really the real, compli the real complicated debate comes in, in this form. A diorama usually, you know, has environment factors, yes, and the Hulkbuster has that, right? But usually, a dio pretty much will consist of sort of multitude of characters in terms of, you know. Uh, you could have like somebody and then they have like a monster or something coming out or some some sort of power you know that's a little bit more of a dio i, I think with the hulk buster i think the fact that it's the same thing i know that the iron man's crawling out of the hulk buster's chest but it's still one character do you understand what i'm saying yeah. i mean you can't really display if you i think if you could have displayed the iron man on the same base as the hulk buster then maybe we would have had a discussion that that is a diorama but i don't think you can no, I believe you have a that separate base. You have a separate base. So you basically you do get two characters and you can place it next to the Hulkbuster. But I think that's what sort of breaks it up for me as being a Dio. Um I agree with you. In terms of engineering and things like that, it's it's probably the more complicated of the three pieces that are in the category. But I think when it comes on deliverables, you know, there is only a small batch out and there's been like issues with an arm wobbling and parts not fitting correctly. There's been some, you know, and we, we know some people in the UK that have got them and have had a fucking nightmare. So in that regard, it's, you know, it's, um, you know, we have to take that into account. It did lose a few points due to that, which again, but it is very difficult when, when you have, um, for example, if they were released in the same year, the um, you know certain uh, museum pieces that are behind me they're quarter scale so it's a bit like well how can you measure that on the same as this and no, it does get yeah. really it yeah. gets really tough so maybe next year we're going to have to mix this up a bit more and we probably need to do 
uh, museum poses and dynamic poses and split them down the middle and somehow but then it all get, then gets to yeah but then what i feel you get right with that i feel that when you start getting into that sort of category what you're doing is you're adjusting the award so that there's more there's people can win you know i believe that there are good enough museum pieces to make it into the top tier positions if they're done well enough they'll get in there yeah the again, dynamic part doesn't really, the dynamic part doesn't really get into my head when it's judging you know that's just preference in it's all about the quality of it and i think you know trying to pick the top three pieces of the year in terms of quality is that's when it starts getting difficult it needs to be perfect yeah you know it needs to be perfect I don't know. I do think that with some of these, there may need to be separation between museum and dynamic. But again, I mean, I think that as the um, as as there becomes more and more released every year, like this year, for example, if next year is again the increase as it has been from seventeen to eighteen to eighteen to nineteen, then we're going to be fucking bombarded. It's going to be so difficult to make that, and we need to adjust the awards in um, you know in relation to the volume of coming out. You know. So we'll have to look into that next year, but yeah, just something to 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 uh, food for thought, you know. Two uh, on that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's the bronze place, and then in the uh, silver place again is the uh, this one is sideshow collectible status on throne. Uh, this piece again uh, caused a huge yeah. a huge like uproar. It was like wow you know this piece is coming uh it was a big like oh my god how much is that costing whatever else but it still sold out in a heartbeat uh in, like, in 26 minutes i think it was gone i had dark I side rising the most, i think this is the most hype piece since i've been collecting yeah this yeah. is the most hype pre-order since i have ever been collecting or in this community or doing anything and i think i think for that alone it would probably it could probably win you know, yeah. and I think that's what also makes it very difficult because when you put it to a public vote, because of the sheer numbers, it's got quite a high addition size. Because of the sheer numbers, it will be anything that yeah. it's up against, anything. Because there's nothing that has an equal addition size of equal quality. There's there's nothing. So you put this up against anything, like, for example, the Hulkbuster. There's, only, there's nine, 999 people that own the Hulkbuster. You know, at the end of the day, there is five times that amount that own the Thanos. So yeah. you're never going to put it to a public. It's, Thanos will always win. But I think the reason why it beats the Hulk bust is two reasons. One, I think it created more hype. And I actually believe that it was a, a big statement from Sideshow Collectibles to say, hold up a minute here. You know, we can, we can fucking match anybody in terms of engineering, design, you know, big scale pieces. We can play this game too. Because they were getting their asses kicked for the yeah. last three years in that regard. They were putting out these fucking Captain Morgan shit for three years while everyone else was doing dynamic and bold and different and engineering. They needed to adapt and they needed to change. And I think the Thanos on Throne was the start of them turning. You know, basically, you know, the, a beaten dog was reacting, you know, was snapping out and saying, you know, fuck you, we're not done here. We're not, you know, we're not also runs anymore. So I think that was a big statement. And I, and I think... On the whole, they delivered. I know that there were some issues. Um, you know, a lot of people got like broken pieces, but it's it, in the sheer. You know, we actually do know the numbers of how many were damaged and how many were broken versus how many were released. It's a very, it is actually a very small percentage in terms of the addition size when you think about it. So, in that regard, you know, it wasn't as drastic. I mean, for the people that it happened to, it was real shit. You know, because people paid over like a lot of money, and you know what I mean. They didn't get what they sort of wanted. I mean, for me and Alex, we both ordered it, and we both got exactly what we were promised. And, you know, I had, is, well, I had a few scuffs and things, but the thing is, is like uh, you get that with everything. I mean, it, you have to. What you have to always remember is um, these are hand painted, hands. You know, they, these are put together in a factory. But the thing is, you're never going to have flawless paint. You know, there's always going to be some kind of scuff or something on there. That's just the way it's going to be. Uh, and I think people expect things to be just totally mint. And they'll complain about absolutely everything. Uh, I think I have a plate. I have like a light, a white paint splodge on one of my things. And I was just like, oh, fuck it. I don't care. Uh, it, it is a fantastic piece. Uh, I do think that there was, uh, there was a, a large reported number of, uh, of issues. Uh, 
But I think it's the same with any social media. When you have those uh, small percentage of people who report the bad things, people reshare so much. Yeah, of course. It, it makes yeah. it look like a lot more. Then, uh, then what we did, well, the gold place uh, was basically the Prime One Studios Guyver. And uh, the reason why... Before you start on that, though, I'm going to say this. Oh, I've already said Prime that. One actually could have got all three pieces. Could have had all three awards here. Yeah. Debatable, yeah? I'm telling you. Prime One could have easily had the Guyver, Gun, and I think Zod is out. Sorry. And I actually think that those three pieces are probably the three best pieces out this year. I think they could have had them all. To be honest, to be brutally honest, they're all that good that I think they could have. They dev, you could definitely put that guts up against Hulkbuster and, and Thanos, and there'd be an argument for who's best. And same with Zod. You know, they they really and that Guyver, fucking hell. That's I mean, and here's another thing as well. It's a good point. That Guyver's a fucking museum piece. Yeah, there you are. well, it's, there you yeah, are. but no, then also no, it, it could be a diorama because in fact, no, uh, no, I don't. I disagree. Yeah, it's got a cut up guy on the base. I agree with that, but really, it's not an action piece. Yeah, it's not jumping. It's not climbing. It's not fighting. It's standing there. It's almost in a Captain Morgan like pose, almost. Yeah, raise the knee slightly, and you've got your fucking Captain Morgan there. It is a museum based piece. And it, well, also, and it I mean, yeah, also no, prime, prime one, you have the uh, the Beast Wars Megatron, you have yeah. the uh, Gabrielle from uh, Warhammer, you have the Serpent Tour from G.I. Joe, you have Eridan yeah, they're, they're from the not, Witcher, not the you have yeah, I'm talking about no, these are all, they're they're all very high quality pieces, they are, but they're, they're not the top three. I'm saying that you know, Guts and probably Zod are, are definitely you could put them up against the Thanos or up against Hulkbuster, and there would be an argument. That's my point. There would yeah. be an argument, a je- not an idiot argument where the people that own one and the people that own the other, I'm talking about the people who don't own either, going, actually, it could be this one. Yeah. And that's the point that, you, that I'm saying. You know, when you, you know, there is a part of this where people fight for their own pieces. And, um, you know, you were very conscious of that in regards to the Giver. I've pushed the Giver as the winner. Well, I, own the family, I don't own the Giver, yeah. um, and I and I um, and I've seen the Hulkbuster numerous times in person, and for me, Giver is the best piece of the three well, pieces. Is, uh, because of the fact, the same with uh, Devil Man, Giver. Those those are two pieces which, for me, um, I needed to be made as characters. For me, I'm totally biased. I totally love the characters. So when um, the Giver came in. I we, well, we filmed the review, which is another one, which is uh, I'm working on that because it's got a bit of green screen on there to, to do. But um, I think on the review, I try to kind of keep a bit quiet. I try and get George involved a bit more because, again, I could easily uh, say how fantastic it is and say everything, but it may be uh, from a from a bias side where you know maybe maybe that's another good thing about it because I am so in love with the character that. I would say in what bits I hate, but yeah. But with this character, I I don't even think I put it in the top three until George, you know, George was mentioning it. I'm like, are you sure? Don't just put it in there for me, blah blah blah. And then George pushed it. So yeah, it's it's the best piece. It's the best piece I've seen last year. Yeah, that that that's the up the short of it. I think the fact that you get the bust with it, the bust is really well done. You've got the the alternative sort of pose with open up the chest the switch out heads you know with half the mask and a full mask you know paint wise it's up really up there like even like for me i've always been a little bit concerned about prime one base wise their bases bore me to fucking tears the paint wise mm-hmm. but for me i think the guyver the guts and the zod it's all completely different they have really um really high detail high level quality paint on all everywhere so i think if you're out there and you're watching this and you own the guts and you own the Zod, and you're wondering why they're not in here, I think, to be honest with you, you'd, you'd have a fair argument for that. Mm-hmm. I personally could see them taking gold, silver, and bronze, and I think that that wouldn't be an injustice. So, well, if again, it, 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 congratulations. They could easily be there, yeah. uh, to be fair. Easily. It, it's, again, it's all to do with the fact that this year has been so, so hard to, you know, so much stuff coming out of that. 
you know, I'm hoping again, again, I repeat that I haven't seen any of the other awards. So I'm hoping that these other pieces are mentioned in the other awards because they are, you know, all these pieces are so good that they should be. Yeah. You know. yeah. uh, then we go on to the one third scale uh, uh, statues here. And uh, this one actually, I while we was going through this, uh, again, another painful uh, experience. And I do not recommend going into debates with George about anything along these lines. Uh, I before before we went into the awards, I probably would have made money bets about who was going to win what and what companies were going to dominate or not. And uh, the the actual order of this has actually took me by surprise. Uh, so the bronze place, and it was actually a very popular when we did put up our post about it, is the uh, Conan by Pop Culture Shock. So this piece actually got a lot of uh, people suggesting and saying that this needs to be acknowledged um the uh they've got the regular version they've got the war paint version uh this is just this is just going to be for the regular version the war paint version i think they fucked up the the paint on it really the uh the the tattoos they um what they did was they used the sideshow collectibles conan as a reference point but the sideshow collectibles conan is wrong <laughs> so they they got the the tattoos wrong. So you mean the, the actual paint? Is uh, they're not tattoos? They're just paint. Yeah, yeah, the the, the war paint. You mean the, the dark part? Yeah. So the war paint that he uses in Conan, uh, PCS used sideshow as a reference point, but sideshow actually had the wrong. And also, he doesn't do that, does he? he doesn't do that pose. No, that's for the beat. That's for the beach, Yeah. So actually fits the regular a little better, but both really nice pieces to be honest. Yeah, uh, very very well done. Um, I mean, start, uh, I, started... huh? I know I am glad I am glad that uh, PCS did manage to kind of slip in uh, a piece in there. I do think that uh, they're a company which I'm hoping with um, such a collectibles on board, they are going to improve in many levels, and I hope that in 2019 we will see a lot more from PCS and. Uh, a kind of better uh, sort of experience from them, really, for, for collectors. Yeah, 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 agree. Uh, then in the silver place is the Arkham Knight Flashpoint Batman. So this is the Thomas Wayne Batman. Yeah, yeah. nice uh, piece. That. I keep meaning to read the uh, the story. It's meant to be really good. It's meant to be good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's meant, meant to be, to be very good. good. Is it like his, his mum's Joker or something like that? But. Um, it's, I think it's something to do with when um, their parents are going to get robbed. He dies. They shoot. He shoots Bruce Wayne instead of the actual parents. Yeah. And then the parents live, and the dad becomes Batman, and the mum becomes Joker. Something like that. Very, very smart though. I love that arc. That's a great idea. Yeah, I definitely need to look into it. But well, I've like, got a few switch outs and things with the guns and I think the sword. Nice. It's quite a bright piece for Prime One. It's not dingy. So it's nice, but it's nice really for one of them markings to make it into the list as well. So, it is. Fan of the line, to be honest. No, I've seen, I've thinking. seen most of them, and uh, to be honest with you, a lot of them are quite muted with the colours, and uh, I just think that this one stood out quite a lot. So this one made it into silver place. Um, and then the gold place. Actually, a video was posted of this this morning, which uh, kind of solidified our choice. And yeah. uh, you. Do you remember this one? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's my, it's my vote. So, yeah, it was me pushing this one. This is another one that, you know, Alex was not sure about at all, but I, I, I maintained oh, it. The I, one, wasn't, the I wasn't one. sure if it was you, uh, you fucking weren't on board. I put. I told you this is the winner. This is the one for Gale um, Gollum by Weta, and uh, this is absolutely nuts, like a crazy, crazy uh, good piece. Detailing, accuracy... You know, the eyes, the portrait, the, the, the skin, it's on a different fucking planet. So, the, base, fairness, the base as well. Another, it's another also round for me. The rest of these really aren't anywhere near gold. Nowhere yeah. near it, none of them. So, yeah. you know, this was miles ahead of anything else. Did you, like, say, did you say by Weta? Yeah, Weta Collectibles, yeah. So this is Weta again. Jesus, they've had a good year. Um, the thing about this one as well is, I mean, I saw the video. So uh, David posted it on uh Rad Titan, and uh, you kind of have the rock that you stand on, yeah. 
And then you have all the you have all the water in the base, all this clear resin, and then underneath the rock is actually the ring. Really yeah, it's cool. Brilliant. Really, really Thin, cool. Man. I think yeah. it's removable as well. I think you can put it there. Oh, I don't know. I didn't. I I, I watched the video, but I, was... I, I don't know if it comes separate and you can like place it. I'm not sure, but there's like fish and fish like eating fish all around the base, isn't there? Because he eats them, oh. doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. They're in I, sort of pools. Yeah, I saw, really I, like, I saw the video where like it was on mute because I was in bed. But uh, yeah, that was really impressive. Yeah. It really impressive. It so again, another one to Weta. So totally, congratulations to Weta there. Uh, yeah, yeah, really good year. And uh, again, looking looking uh, from when we were starting to do this, uh, I would have assumed that like Prime One would have been like first, second, and third through you know yeah. all their all their third scale pieces. And uh, I'm quite glad looking through the actual list that there is a lot. Of, there's a bit of variety in there. Um, I did. I did think that like uh, Scarecrow was close. Um, so some people were saying Killer Croc, but you know, well, there was, there was a few anyway. There's a lot of uh, one third pieces. Yeah, there, there are some nice pieces. The Killer Croc probably could have been an argument as well for the uh, for the Thomas Wayne um, place. I mean, dancing there or thereabouts is, is challenging on a one third. Well, no, 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 nothing to taking gold off. But that. One, of, one of the one of the other difficult things about this kind of awards is when you do say one third it's like one third scale okay fine but the problem is then always you're going to have a price point so i don't know what conan retailed for i think it was 750 so when you have conan yeah. at 750 and then you have yeah. Bonham at like i think he was like two and a half grand or something so yeah. when you say well Gollum is uh, three times more like you know, yeah not almost five times isn't it 752. What did you would you say he was? Seven and a half grand. No, no, to about two two and a half grand. Two and a half, okay. So it's about, yeah. about three times. So when you say that, then is it fair to compare them? That, that's the other issue. So when it was especially when the the big, the biggest uh gap that we found was in when you look at the smaller scale. So when you look at the one six size pieces, you get one six pieces which cost eighty dollars. You get one six scale pieces, which are like seven hundred dollars. So yeah. that that's when it gets really hard because eighty dollar pieces just are never going to compete with that. You know, no. so it's, it is really difficult, and it is again, it makes the awards. Yeah, but, it, really, but really I hard. ain't I ain't I ain't doing a budget awards every year. No, so I know, I, but I'm just saying, you know, that's how it goes. I, I ain't going to pay that type of money. I ain't going to pay that type of money for Gollum. Um, or any piece um, in that, you know what I mean? But at the, same, at the same time, doesn't it exclude me from saying that, fuck me, they did a really good job. So they no, deserve the win. No, know what guess. you're saying. I know that yeah. is. You know, but then I think Conan probably gets in there based on that more than anything else, to be honest. I think Conan gets into that list because list, yeah. he's very reasonably valued. No, I agree. Conan gets in there because, yeah, because it's the value. I've, the I've, value got honest, I've, got, I've got to be honest, Killer Croc for me is, better, is a better piece. Yeah. And probably scared. I'm not scared, gross, but then that's just a personal preference. I'd be a bit too dark. But Killer Croc's probably better, better job. But I, I, you know, the, I think he gets the bronze because value for money wise, Conan's got to be up there. Has yeah. to be. Sure. And probably if you paid on day one and you got your, you pay all the, all yeah, the ones to all, get yeah. that discount and shit. So yeah, I think Sideshow just did like twenty percent off him. So people are going to get bargains on him. But anyway, so. Anyway, we could argue about these, you know. Uh, we have been. <laughs> we yeah, have well, been. <laughs> not on air. But... All right. So next is going to be the um, uh, half scale pieces. So in the half scale line, um, again, I mean, it's it's uh, it, there's not a great deal in this line um, that's been released this year. So it's been quite difficult. Uh, there has been a handful. So it has been enough to do a gold, silver, bronze. Um, yeah. So with this one, we have the um, the bronze place for this one is the legendary scale stormtrooper by Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, again, this is a very impressive piece. I would never collect half scale pieces because it just makes me like feel like it makes me feel like there's like a little toddler standing in the corner of my room. So you know, <laughs> it's, like, it's like having like sort of like uh, vertically challenged people in your house. Yeah. Yeah, I so, always felt that with Darth Maul. Everyone raved about it, and then when I saw it in person, it just like like it just looked like a, a dwarf Darth Maul. 
and it just made me feel uncomfortable. It's actually a really nice piece. It is beautifully done. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I, I find that a half scale like awkward. I just don't like the scale. It's just a little bit smaller than normal than a normal size part. I mean, maybe it's because I'm fucking not that tall. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure the the half scale pieces are somewhere around like forty inches, aren't they? But that's what I mean. Yeah. And I'm only about forty one inches tall. So <laughs> right then, the uh, the silver place for the. Half scale awards goes to the Darth Vader legendary scale, and uh, this is by Sideshow Collectibles again. Again, another great piece. Uh, these these ones are always more uh, museum pose. You you can't really do the no. uh, dynamic poses. I think um, Imaginary Arts did a few kind of like landed Iron Men, you know, which were a bit more dynamic, but yeah. Uh, Tend to just get the, the, to, the full and music. also they, they do lead to problems, you know. The Wolverine by Sideshow, the legendary scale Wolverine, is fairly action posed, but yeah, major issues with it fucking falling off the, the table and shit. The same yeah. with like other pieces when you make them because they're so heavy and the figures are so heavy, you know, it, keeping well, them yeah, sort I of mean, point, you want them sort of static, you want the you want the uh, the, the pegs and everything, you want them still, you don't want even any the, weight uh, going on side. Legendary, legendary Scout Doom is like pretty much museum Captain Morgan, but he still has loads of issues. Exactly. But it, but if yeah. you look at the, what I'm saying is if you look at the actual the Doom, he's actually, again, it's one foot down, one foot up, and it's angle. It's quite action. It's movement. And that is where the issue comes from because the dis distribution of weight is not in the centre. It's going to one direction or the other. And then figures are well heavy. And I mean mm. fucking heavy. Doom so is really heavy. It, yeah, like, yeah. What the hell? Put it down and it's going like that. It's going. Doom is really, down, Doom, Doom's a really impressive piece, but really, really heavy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, again, that was four years ago, so let's get over that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then in Gold Place, which is a piece that we, we've saw at uh, Tony Main's house. So this is the Wonder Woman, Batman versus Superman half scale yeah, yeah. by Primal Studios. Uh, really, really nice piece. Uh, well killed someone with a sword and all. Yeah, you, I think you nearly stabbed yourself in the arse with it a couple of times when we were like, trying to review. So, uh, really impressive piece. Only thing I don't like about these pieces is um, you, you have to like brush the hair. <laughs> I don't even brush my own hair, so why am I going to want to brush someone else's? And I think the other like day, right? the other day I was in bed, right, and I was watching YouTube. And my wife come in, she glanced at the screen, she goes, "Who's that fucking hobo you're watching?" And it was you. <laughs> I said, Alex, you went, all oh, right. <laughs> what was I doing? What, what video was it? I don't know. You just, it must have been your face somewhere. She's like, who's that fucking hobo, that homeless guy you're watching? I was like, it's Alex. And she just pissed herself laughing. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't even realise it was you. Bitch. No. Bitch. <laughs> I'm going to message her now going, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, the Wonder Woman is the uh, top piece there. I mean, very, very nice piece. I think Wallace has got it as well. Tony Main. And uh, yeah, yeah very, very, very impressive. materials and everything on it, swords, real metal, and it's well heavy. I really last, nice. I think last year, Prime One had a Queen's clean sweep of that category. They had like Ledger, yeah, nice uh, Batman, Batman, versus Superman, yeah. Batman and Superman, yeah. So, uh, it's good to see again a bit of variety in there. They're nice, they're okay, but uh, one of them was the best of the three, yeah, yeah. So um, there weren't so many uh, life-size pieces this year, so we skipped that one. Um, a couple of pieces were in there, but again, we didn't think they were good enough to win the award. So uh, one of the life-size, well, one of the life-size pieces, yeah, one of the life-size pieces was the uh, gizmo where he's got his little bow and arrow and he's got the gremlin at the back. Um, I was involved in a review, I think. They were all speaking in Thai, so I don't really know what was being said. But uh, while I was in Thailand, they did a, a review on, uh, uh, was it the Collector's Channel? So TCC. And um, it was very underwhelming for the price. Very, very underwhelming. So it's a case of uh, we're not going to just give an award for the, the sake of they're, they're the only piece that's been out. Yeah. So we did not do the life-size award this year. Um and again, that's not bust. It's kind of full life size. Or yeah, something. it's going. So then the next piece we are going to go on to um, is... So the sculptor 
3D Sculptor of the Year. Um, we did do a few other things last year. I think we did like painters and stuff like that. But I think with the painters, it, it tended to be more towards customs last year. So we kind of went away from it. And uh, yeah, so this year we are going with uh, um, Caleb Nefzan. Uh, we the reason why we go with Caleb is because uh, the pieces that have been delivered in hand this year. So more than uh, he's also working on a lot of pieces. So uh, last year Daniel Bell won it, and uh, this year is definitely going to be Caleb by pieces that have been delivered. So the I'm looking in my room, uh, the. Devil Man versus Amon, XM Scorpion, XM Moonlight, uh, XM Carnage as well. I've got that, but George does want to mention that one. Uh, one. We should actually take the award off him for that. <laughs> there is also the X, uh, uh, sorry, the uh, fan art pieces that he's worked on. So there was Doom. the Doom. There's also the Gauntlet that we have up here uh, to review. And there is, so he's been really, really busy. Yeah, uh, but when you look across when you look across the awards really as well and, and some of the best that he's involved in a lot of the best stuff that came out in 2018. His name just keeps cropping up all the time and it's well deserved, brother. So congratulations. Um well, that, you know, to a nicer guy. It's about the pieces they're working on, but it's also the pieces that how they've come out as well. They're all in, they're all coming in out in hand in hand now. So you yeah. know, there's a lot of pieces that he's done that are fantastic. So well done, Caleb. You'll clap. Well, well, brother. Well done. You don't want to clap too loud into the microphone. Um, so the next one we have is going to be the uh, what we can do is let's go on. So the company of the year. This one was quite a tough one, and we um, again this caused um, a little bit of friction between the two of us um, we were talk, discussing the kind of guidelines of what makes company of the year um, it is very hard because it, it's not just about the pieces that are being delivered and the pieces that are in hand obviously that's a big factor of how these pieces, factor. these pieces look in hand obviously it's a huge factor and that is one of the ones been taken into consideration of why this company's won. But one of the other factors we had to look into was about um, how the uh, customer service side of things, how the, uh, you know, how they deal with customers, the social media side of things. So there were a lot of uh, factors that we took into consideration. I mean, the best company for customer service, this isn't the winner, by the way, but just saying, the best company for customer service, hands down, is going to be Sideshow all day long. Yeah. All day long, they are the best company for customer service. Um, but this year, we think for the sheer volume of pieces that have been delivered by this company, uh, Prime One are the company of the year. Um, it's just that the the volume of fantastic pieces, the, 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 uh, you don't really hear about many breakages with Prime One. You hear about a very small percentage compared to other companies. Um, and I just think that that's, that's the reason why that they should should win it. Uh, it yeah, you're, you're, it is hard. I mean, uh, it was difficult. I sort of, I was pushing towards Sideshow to win this year. Um, for me, I think Sideshow have delivered some, I think this has probably been one of their best years in terms of quality of the stuff that they've released. And I do believe that customer service and transparency and things like that, they're, they're ahead of Prime 1. Um, but, I mean, in terms of the actual, like, gems that have come out, I do agree with Alex. I think that Prime 1 has had a very, very powerful year, and it's very hard to to deny them that. Um, I think I wish they would run their social media group better. I wish they would be a little bit more responsive and a little bit more sort of open to, you know, how it works. You know, XM, uh, you know, do. And I think Sideshow are a bit better. In that regard, but you know, uh, XM missed out on this year. They, they had a, you know, they had a, a lot of, uh, they had a few QC issues on some low run pieces, which I don't think did them any favors right towards the end of the year. Hulkbuster, Scorpion, Moon Knight will come with problems. Um, they had the book coming in and out. You know what I mean? Taking the things away and then adding them back. It's, it's, you know what I mean? They, they, they listen when there's uproar, but then their decision to 
sort of make t- to do things after the fact is dangerous. You know, the, the video of Scorpion, the video of Moon Knight that should have come out before the piece come out, before there was problems, because people have broke their shit or, yeah. or sold it on or moved it on before they had the, the rectifying issue. Um, the book should never have even been considered to be removed. That was a mistake. And I think that's that's probably cost. I think that's cost them this year. Next category is going to be the uh, sleeper pieces of 2018. Yeah. So this one was quite an interesting one. Um, this piece, again, I saw this one last, so it's 17, it would have been 2017 at the con. And uh, for me, I was like, oh yeah, here it is. Next piece, next piece. It came out and uh, it sold pretty well, but then when it got in hand, it went it went like really really popular and uh, people loved it. it. Was the this is the um, Toothless by uh, Toothless Market by Sideshow Collectibles. So this is from uh, How to Train Your Dragon, and uh, I actually went off. It? Sorry, is it from the second film? No, it's from the first one, but there is a second one as well. But uh, I actually went away and watched the uh, how to train your dragon afterwards to see what the the hype was about and uh, i don't really see what the hype was about but anyway um but this piece this piece like people went mad about it they you know they were selling they they were they were like people were selling these on ebay like double the price and stuff like that Mm -hmm. so uh the first the the bronze piece place has to go to the toothless market um and then in the silver place so this is a piece which just came out. Um, the piece looks absolutely fantastic, uh, but I really think it slipped under the radar. So this is the premium format Rebel Terminator Mythos by Sideshow yeah. Collectibles. This, Sexy, this is probably a piece I think in uh, in you'll future. You'll get a trade down the line. You'll, I, you'll be after. You'll be, you'll be after this. I, I think I would look at look look to pick this one up. I really think it looks like a phenomenal piece. Really, really do. Um, then in gold's place is going to be uh, the XM Studio Scorpion. So what happened was is XM Studios did their made to order. Yeah, and uh, this one. Basically, no one really ordered it, along with the Moon Knight. Uh, they both got like, I was it like 300 orders? Um, 300 or under. Yeah, so Moon Knight was less, but uh, uh, Scorpion was 300. And when this then got into hand, people were just like, I need it, I need it. You know, they were, they were, they were trying to buy it left, right, and center. So XM Studios Scorpion is the sleeper piece of the year, we believe. Uh, again, by uh, Caleb. Uh, Phenomenal, done an absolutely amazing job. Very upset that they didn't include the kind of like mouth open, you know, with the teeth. I like that. Yeah, that was Caleb's. That was Caleb's design as well. But I have yeah. to say, um, for me, it's probably one of the best licensed paint jobs this year, without a doubt. Scorpion, Scorpion is stunning. Like painted, it is beautiful. It brought, for me, I, if there was an award for that, I think I'd win that. It is a is a very very good paint job. It's a sort of pin that if you wanted to get a custom paint job, I don't think you could improve it too much. And that maybe says the, a lot. Maybe the base. Base, 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 base yeah. Yeah. but yeah. not the, the figure and where the focal point is, is, uh, is, is perfect. So, yeah. very, very nice. Right. Then we're going to go – so I'm just looking into uh, – I'm moving these around a little bit. What we'll then move into is uh, we'll do our top three uh, – pickups of the year so what do you want to do this where we do i do my bronze you do your bronze oh yeah yeah go, go. uh what do you want to do I'm your bronze my, i'm trying to remember my bronze <laughs> <laughs> really? uh, you can't change what it now I, what did i pick? i'm trying to remember where it was <laughs> that's why i told you the list in front of you you fucking help me choose these things and then you go to remember <laughs> You bought, what the bad one was. you bought it off Joe. Huh? You, bought it, you bought it off Joe. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, so my my bronze is the PCS Saga. Um, I've been after it for a long time. Since I started collecting, it's been my favourite um, Street Fighter piece in, in, from pictures. I reviewed it this year, uh, in, or I reviewed it in 2018, and I had to have it as soon as I reviewed it. As soon as I saw it in person, I had to have it. And uh, for me, 
um, whether or not I have any more Street Fighter pieces, whether I stop collecting game pieces, Street Fighter pieces altogether, Sagat will never go. Um, I'm very happy with it. So I'm delighted with that. It's easy, easy choice for me. Don't you have a Coomba on you, though? I do, yeah. Okay, cool. I, I thought I was going mad. Okay, my, my silver is the fan art saber tooth that I got. Very, very low run, one of only 38 pieces in the entire world. Probably the most comic um, accurate saber tooth uh, out there in terms of, you know, the way. I mean, it's one of them old school pieces. Uh, it's not overly textured. You know, it's right off the page. Um, it's deceptively big as well. Like when you look at pictures and you look at it, you don't think it's that big. But then when you hold the figure in your hand, it's it's, it's a monstrous yeah. piece. I mean, again, repainted. Uh, I think the paint is okay. But it's not Ian Wilkinson level uh, paint, so I, I'm going to send that to him and have that done and turn that into the world beater that I think it can be. Um, mm. ha- very happy with it though. Now my gold is uh, the Thanos on throne from Saito Collectibles. Just in terms of I, I, I don't really, I don't think I'll ever forget the amount of hype surrounding that piece when it came out. Um, I really do. I, I, you know, and, and and it was delivered to me, uh, so I'm I'm very happy with it. Um, you know, for me, it's one of the mainstay sort of pieces. It will never really go anywhere. It's not a sellable piece for me. Um, you know, it's probably one of the best Thanos portraits in existence, that exclusive head. I don't think there is a better one. They can make a thousand fan arts. I'll never beat what was already done. Um, that is that is one limb. That is Stalin. That is, you know, that's the classic. That's the, the real Thanos. So um, for me... Yeah, he he gets my he gets my vote as uh, yeah. the best piece. I'm probably the best piece I've got in, in the last twelve months. Um, my bronze place piece um, is probably going to upset Geo, but my bronze place piece is actually the uh, Thanos on front. So uh, I I've had a very very good year for for pieces. That I've been very excited about, and uh, they've pushed down the the Thanos on front to the bronze place. Uh, but it is an absolutely phenomenal piece, beautiful piece. So my silver place is going to go to uh, Amon versus Devilman by Figurama. Um, again, this piece is phenomenal. Um, I think one of the uh, the best ways to look at it is if you look at the actual review or the unboxing of it, and you just look at how uh, excited I am. I'm normally quite, I don't really get excited that much. And uh, on that video, I was super fucking pumped, really pumped. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely my silver place this year. So then my gold place is probably, people have already guessed it, it's quite obvious, really. So my gold place is to the uh, Prime One Studios at Gaiva. Uh, when we started collecting, um, I, we said our top fives were what we wanted made, a, a, a perfect character of. Uh, most of them had been made at uh, some point already and um the guyver was just one of those ones which was kind of a dream uh, i never thought it would get made in quarter scale um uh, and when prime one announced that they were going to do it um i saw the sort of concepts and i was blown away and then when they sort of saw the piece uh, delivered i did i've been traveling a lot this year and i've uh, every place i've gone to where prime one have been the prototype was never there so i never got to see the prototype but when i unboxed that piece um, I was blown away. It was, for me, I, I, it couldn't be better. Absolutely perfect to the character and totally blew me away. Probably, it's, it's one of the pieces which, um, it's, I, for me, it's, it's the best one in my collection. And it's never, ever going to go anywhere. Uh, the only problem is I've got to fucking figure out how to display it because it's like too tall. <laughs> but uh, I'll make it happen. So, yeah. It's a custom unit, then it? It's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Gold Place is to the Guyver by Prime One Collectibles, uh, Prime One Studio, sorry. And uh, the piece that for me, I've got, I've got to give it a mention as well because I was super pumped when I got it in. Um, but again, I've had a very, very good year for collecting. So, the piece that just didn't make it into the top three for me is the XM Studios Weapon X, which I absolutely love. Um, but for me, it just it just missed out. It really did. See, for me, if it, I, I weren't allowed to put in my best acquisition this year because it doesn't fall within the categories. But the repaint um, XM Studios Thanos that I had by Ian Wilkinson is my my favourite piece in my, yeah. in my whole set. 
So that would be the house if it was on fire and the wife and the baby and the dogs are out. That is what I'm coming back in the house for, for if I can grab something. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's, uh, you know, really, it, you know, when I, that, that, well, was, no, like, well, that was it. What you could do is, I mean, you grab two pieces. I mean, Lily's had a good life. You know, grab, I could leave her. Leave, 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 her, leave her and grab another piece. Lily's had a good long life, you know. <laughs> Cable then. Huh? Yeah, I'm joking. Cable. So uh no, but uh, Lily Lily dies and cable comes out with me. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, yeah, it's been it has say it's been a very good year for me. So, you know, um for me, probably halfway through the year, I would have said to you, like, Weapon X, Weapon X is gonna be definitely in the top three, and then in the summer, uh Devil Man versus Ammo came in and then just after my birthday, I think it was the uh guy that came in so yeah so yeah definitely yeah. a fucking great year for me then what we're going to go into now is uh we're going to go into the uh top three uh most anticipated pieces of uh the, the coming i would we normally say is the most anticipated pieces for 2019 but i think every single year the piece that we've said is the most anticipated it hasn't been delivered that year anyway. So. <laughs> yeah. so we're just going to say the most anticipated pieces that we know of at the moment. Okay. So uh, in bronze place is going to be the Sideshow Collectibles Juggernaut. Yeah. Uh, we've yeah. actually been Wait sent... a long time for that. Yeah, we've seen some images of this and it actually looks fantastic. So um, it's going to come up at some point in the uh, 12 Days of Sideshow. So keep an eye out for it's it. Horrible, isn't it? Uh, I believe so. I believe so. Yeah, I love his stuff. Yeah, he, he's he, fan also. I love his love his stuff. And Lady Deadpool as well. Yeah, yeah. So uh, absolutely fantastic. So yeah, Juggernaut's coming, and uh, it's going to be apparently it's going to be um, something like thirty something inches tall. It's going to be massive, but he's supposed to be like nine foot tall. So yeah. Uh, then in silver place is a piece that Geo has on order. So this is the XM Studios Hulk transformation. Um, yeah, I think it's during the lot. I think it's during the final quarter, isn't it? The final quarter of this year, of of two thousand and nineteen. I think it's quarter three or quarter four of this year. Possibly. Uh, been waiting a long time for 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 a Green Hulk. Really, um, it's funny though because um, I'm really excited about the Gladiator Hulk that's been mentioned from Sideshow sculpted by Daniel Del <laughs> So we'll wait and we'll see about that. That yeah. that actually could affect my Akuma order, to be honest, because I may if I like that, I may just transfer it. Well, the, the thing is, uh, really delayed, like really delayed. Yeah. So um, I'm not I'm not too pleased. That I've had to wait an additional twelve months. When I did the pre order, it said a different year, and they changed it. They put another yeah. year on. <laughs> I ain't too thrilled about. Um, but we'll see what happens if the if the Glad Hulk comes out. Well, I might just move it over. Just I actually, uh, I'm actually really impressed with the uh, the Domino. I just yeah, think the Domino looks fucking fantastic. Yeah, totally uh, she true. looks really good. I mean, but then, we'll have to go through this on twelve days. We'll do that show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but um, yeah, Old. I'm really. I see the transformation Hulk in London. Um, it was worth just taking a trip just to see that. It's a beautiful, stunning piece, and it's exactly the Hulk I'm after. So that is definitely what I'm, I'm excited for. Yeah. And then Gold Place is one that in New York Comic Con in uh, 2018, um, this piece just took me by surprise. It was totally no, no, uh, no announcements, no nothing. It was just there, and uh, it's super, super impressive. This is the Sideshow Collectibles Punisher. Um, yeah. This piece looks phenomenal. Um, That's another really, big moment when that got a lot of rave, a lot of hype, people going mad. That, that really looks nice. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, really, 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 really cool piece, and uh, it's probably the most excited I've been about a sideshow piece uh, since Thanos. So yeah. yeah, uh, so that's gold, silver, bronze. Um, that's actually all of our rewards. You know that. Good, perfect. Need to yeah. run now anyway, so that's yeah. good. So uh, yeah, so I mean, if there's anything, I mean, what we'll we'll go through. I mean, is there's so many pieces to, to kind of mention everything. And I think that this year has been just a ridiculous, like a ridiculous a year, for, year for collectibles. Um, been a very good year. Yeah, yeah. A lot of great things have come out this year. It's been the hardest awards in terms of us to agree, and uh, I, I think that's a good sign. Um, you know, we're quite lucky because me and Alex actually agree probably on about eighty percent of everything. 
Um, but the twenty percent that we disagree on, we we do quite hard. So mm. you know that, but that's how it goes. Um, I do think that there were a few get, pieces that could have got, got could have gone either way. There was the uh, uh, the fan art category. There could have been the uh, the Wolverine versus Windigo could have got in there. That piece looked yeah. pretty. Fun. Uh, yeah, it's a shame, really. We we didn't do the because uh, again, it's, that's that's a dio as well. But unfortunately, it falls in the fan art category, and it probably just misses out on them other two um, places. I don't think there's any, you know. So that was really nice, though. But I've seen um, different levels of paint on that piece as well. So the some, 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 some paint is some of the paint ridiculous, is mental. So yeah. very nice, very nice piece indeed. That I think that's Carlissimo again, isn't it? Uh, no, no, who is that? No. Well, it's um, it might Ooh. be the Subic Pereira, uh, yeah, might... yeah, it's just it, yeah, so it yeah, but uh, yeah, again, a bit of, been a crazy year, so just want to finish up. Do you want to, do you want to say a little message to the fans? I just, <laughs> I just want to say, you know, thank you for uh, thank you for putting your trust in the Rad and family, and thank you for being with us for all the journey back and forward. It's been great you know we do this we love to spend time with each other and we love the yeah, i've got to be honest doing this chat i really appreciate just how much i love the interaction when we do it live i really course, you know it's yeah. really not i mean that's probably the highlight of doing the chats for me i don't think if, if it wasn't as interactive as it is i probably wouldn't do as many yeah. um so it's really nice to sort of get some you know having the boys with us i really am grateful for uh, all the support this year and uh, you know we'll continue to deliver and do what we do um, you know, we'll keep it as real as we can. And just say what we see. You know, it's like an episode of Catchphrase. We'll just do the best we can with it. We'll get busy and we'll get around and we'll try and give you as much content as we physically can. Yeah. No, I totally agree that, you know, it's been a crazy year. And uh, the way that we do the awards is because of the fact that we're going to, I'm going to need to take this away and kind of cut it together and kind of put the pictures over the top. Um, it's just, I wanted to kind of, uh, while while we're doing, you need to, I need to focus a bit more so I'm not missing things off the list, and I yeah, need to make so sure. So you get so many uh, people putting their information in there, then it gets, then it can sort of twist and get, get a diluted. Bit. And yeah. people don't, a lot of people don't know what year is what. That's what I notice with the groups a lot. Yeah, a lot yeah, of the people, yeah. I'm saying, "What do you like?" and they put pictures. It's like, dude, that's fucking 2015. What the fuck? You know what I mean? well, Some of no the people are really far away. What happens as well is when you post on Facebook and already show a little block of it. So like, they won't click on the see more to read the whole thing. So when you say what's the best quarter scale piece of you know this year, they'll start posting like life size busts and stuff like that. Oh, just stuff don't like in hand as well. That's really hard because also some stuff is is like almost here but not quite. I mean it's quite you know the beast the 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 beast could have like made an appearance into that custom but it just hasn't got here in time. It's yeah. missed this year. So that'll have to we'll have to see how that looks. No, but, it's yeah, it's an exciting time. So, you know, we'll be out there. We'll be doing our thing. So, thank you very much for uh, you know hitting them likes and uh, talking to us as well. You know, half of the, the, the gift is just the communicating and, and 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 the friends that you make along the way. So, you know, we've been lucky to spend time with lots of people this year. We we'll try and hook up with people and catch up, and it's been it's been a good ride. So, you know, we really appreciate that. Yeah, totally agree. I concur. So I yeah. Concur. Thanks, everyone. Take care. And uh, here's to uh, a fantastic 2019. So, yeah. All right. Salute. Peace out.